Loading Shout's back store is located in the city of Kemerovo. The company has been on the market for several years. As a first step, the store signed up for the UDS service and set up an electronic loyalty card, which customers can later receive on their smartphones. The process is quite intuitive and takes anywhere from 5 to 30 minutes, and in reality, it's no harder than setting up a profile on any social network. The store uploaded its logo, description, added colorful photos, addresses, and other information to make it interesting and readable. Then the company decided to move away from direct discount and set up a cashback feature. This way, customers collect points for purchases, the company gets full price for their goods, and the customer has a reason to return and spend points on his third, fifth, or seventh purchase. Here, the store has set up five levels of customer cashback with very cool names. This is the first stage of getting the client involved in a long-term relationship. Because when we achieve something as a boss or VIP status, we value it and the company acquires a loyal customer. Now let's look at the recommendation reward setting. The store wants its customers to actively share an electronic card with their friends and relatives, and therefore set up 15% cashback for the first and 1% to the second and third levels of recommendation. I would like to know that this referral bonus is credited only after an invited customer comes in and actually buys something. The system sees this and pays a set percentage in points to the person who invited this new customer to the store. Then they set up a welcome points as an additional benefit to download the electronic card and enable the feature of automatic customer birthday greetings. Add appropriate text to the template along with a thousand points as a nice gift and it becomes another excuse to come back. And now the most interesting thing, the economic effect. After optimization of the bonus program and all configured cashback levels, the company managed to reduce the real discount from 22 to 8%, which is more than 4 million rubles a year. That's about $65,000 saved or earned, depending on how you look at it. The next stage is when the store starts distributing their electronic discount cards and building their customer base. Let's remember Bob. He comes to the store to shop and staff member offers him to download the electronic discount card. If it's a rush hour, then printed materials in a sales area can help explain customers the benefits of participating in loyalty program. So Bob downloads the application and with a simple thumb movement goes through a short registration and he's happy because he doesn't need to fill out a paper form or get another plastic card that will eventually get lost at home or in a car. After registration, he scans the store's promo code and the company's electronic card appears on the screen. At the same time, all the information that he just filled out goes directly to the business owner's back office. Now it is easy to calculate the savings at this stage. 4,642 electronic cards have been distributed by back store at the time of this recording. If you compare the same number of plastic cards with the average cost of 7.5 rubles, you will get almost 35,000 rubles, that's about $550, or you can triple that if we print them in the United States. And this is not including employee time if you have to digitize paper forms. It is very easy for Bob to use electronic card. One click and QR code appears on the screen that he shows or reads numbers off to the staff member who enters them into accounting system. After that, staff member sees the customer details such as name, accumulated points, and offers Bob to use his points before completing the transaction. Bob only has to use it once and it all becomes clear. The owner of Back Store is regularly studying portrait of his target customers buyer's ratings, and after that develops a necessary strategy of contact and communication with them. I'm sure we all understand how important it is to keep customers' attention warm. Through consistent yet measured communication, providing useful information, notifying them about events, special offers, the chances of bringing the customer back will increase dramatically. And this is where Backstore uses several tools. Every individual's first need is to be heard. Very often the customer has something to say and he wants to say it. But the question is, do we give him a practical tool to do so? Perhaps he can review on Yelp or Google, but sooner or later we will get a negative feedback, which may have been resolved at that moment, rather than waiting for customer to tell his friends about it or share it on his social media. Now let's look at the solution. After every purchase, UDS app asks the customer to rate his experience and write a comment. And notice how easy it is when the emotions are still fresh. The percentage of people willing to just click on a star icon is very high compared to other tools. And this gives an objective view of business performance. For every feedback that comes in, the company can write a response that goes directly to customer's app and therefore initiates private chat between customer and business owner or manager. Then, twice a week, the store prepares news with text and pictures and with one click sends it out to customer's mobile screens via push notifications. They, in turn, open notification, get engaged in the news, 
and can click a button to send a message to the company. In Nextdoor's experience, it is very effective to create news for a certain segment of customer base and send targeted push notifications. For example, today we interact with only those who have accumulated 1000 points or more, and a week later with a part of the audience that has not visited store in the last three months. Every business owner should constantly review his database, study his clients, and use creativity, which UDS brings and streamlines in one easy-to-use platform. Utilizing this, Backstore has set up automatic birthday greeting feature. The template is configured once and then every day system will automatically send a pleasant bonus and birthday wishes. Another example of contact with clients is when the system sees a purchase by recommendation and sends a referral reward to three previous sources of this recommendation. In other words, the system can wake up three sleeping clients and remind them about you or encourage them to recommend you more actively since they are rewarded and recognized for doing so. By using statistics tool in the company's back office, we can see that more than a thousand clients have made two or more purchases and therefore moved to the loyal category. Now let's look at the economic impact. If we compare it to a mass text message with a weekly frequency and an average cost of one and a half rubles, the company would have spent 27,000 rubles per month or more than 300,000 rubles per year. That's about $5,500 or about $3,500 for the same service if we do it in the US. And if we take into account the fact that sometimes text doesn't fit into one message, then this figure can be safely multiplied by two. And we only calculated the news, which is only one of the four elements of communication. Step five is to get customers engaged in recommendations. The work quality of staff members plays a key role here. The owner of a back store has provided additional motivation to their staff and has arranged printed materials in the sales area, which helps to get customers involved in the process of bringing in additional customers. And the application itself at certain stages suggests that there is a such a feature. In general, the foundation of Backstore's successful recommendation practice is product quality and constant attention to loyal customers who after some time get involved into recommendation mechanics because they understand how it's convenient and profitable for them and get excited to tell their friends about the store. The process may seem quite long, but let's see what figures this has led to on a year scale. In the back office, we see that the depth of the recommendation has gone up to eight levels deep, while on the fifth level, we see more than 200 potential customers, 50 of whom have already came into the store and bought something. Let's look at the fourth level. 105 people have already bought something worth more than 1 million rubles. That's about $16,500. And if we look at the total purchases on all levels of recommendations, starting from the second level, we see that the store sold almost 4 million rubles or $65,000 worth of products based solely on customer recommendations. We all know that word of mouth has always worked, but now we have it in a new customer friendly package. People are loving it and getting involved faster. And finally, the last sixth step is to add just a little creativity. For example, the store has made an arrangement with a fashion blogger and the system tracks all activities and purchases from a particular referral code. Statistics in the KPI section keeps all the staff members accountable according to the main indicators of the company. These are the average check, number of transactions, rating, sales recommendations, new customers, and so on. I'd like to highlight an interesting use of a cross-marketing idea. In one of the news back store added links to electronic cards of their partner companies, and those companies did the same, therefore redirecting their customer to each other and rewarded them with welcome points. Also in the sales area, we see flyers with promo codes of the partner companies, allowing businesses to exchange customers, and this opens up another channel for customer acquisition. Now let's sum up all the benefits in terms of savings. First, Backstore went from a direct discount to a flexible cashback, saving them more than 4 million rubles. That's about $65,000. Second, they saved 35,000 rubles. That's about $550 on plastic card production. Third, they saved over 300,000 rubles. That's about $5,500 on communications. In total, we see 4.3 million rubles. That's about $71,000 in savings and a sales increase by 3.8 million rubles. That's about $62,000. And we didn't even take into consideration how much it would cost to get more than 900 reviews with the secret shopper method, or how much it would cost to develop a custom software similar to UDS for this store individually. Once again, all the numbers have been calculated at minimum. In this video, you saw how a clothing store with a single tool created a fantastic marketing system focused on retaining customers and engaging them in recommendations.